Peace to the family, peace to the family, peace to the family. <laughs> peace to the family. We out here making the damn thing happen. With the homie. You know what? Hold, hold, hold this for me. Fuck what they talk about. The motherfucking chain. That bitch hitting. Hitting? It's hitting like that? I'm, I'm yeah, that still bitch hitting, man. Something in this equation. Wow, it's so slow. Oh, there it go. I was missing something. I'm missing the shades. That's what happened. But it's good. You see, people ask why I wear shades in the evening. Cut all them damn pictures and flashes. You wear the shades. When you part of the game, you understand you wear the shades in the evening because it be lights, camera, action. Especially that, that red carpet and the people that recognize you for your work. And in the nighttime, there's a lot of that stuff's gonna mess with your eyes. But I just wanted to talk to y'all and say stop feeling like just because a person is conscious, they're supposed to be poor. We're gonna throw that completely out the window. Matter of fact, let me let me let them get the math. Y'all already know. Why is it doing that? Nigga got the Rory parked out this bitch. Oh, oh you I already know. <laughs> so, yeah. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? So, what I'm... The name of the game is you go to brotherpolite45 at gmail.com. You leave your full name and always leave your number if you want a service. But the name of the game is you don't have to be poor. You don't have to be poor just because you teach. And people don't even realize how I'd be revolutionizing the situation. That's why I say I'm an industrialist more than I say I'm an entrepreneur. Because I'm creating a whole industry around what I do. Let's do it. Let's go right now. We're not going to be able to go live. Oh, that's no. trash. Uh, yeah, I got you. So, what I'm saying is, this type of time we on. Seriously. All jokes aside. Hold on. I'm just... Why it won't? Hold on, family. There we go. This is what type of time we on. <clears throat> We're not going to play no games with y'all. So, oh, and you see, the thing is, then people turn around. They like, oh, you showing off. You boasting. But I'll be over here telling you guys, get your credit restoration microwave. Oh, yeah, I got some more testimonies coming out. I'm in L.A. right now. But, you know, I'm going to the wild to fight. That's where we going next. So the next time you see me, it's going to be a different outfit. You feel what I'm saying? So... I mean, I paid my taxes and I'm still too turned up. <laughs> you know up. But I'm over here showing people how to delete the negative items off their report, add positive items to their report, boost not only their advantage score, their FICO score, but even their wealth score quotient, and then synchronizing. Oh, shit. What's up? I motherfucking uh, oh, oh. Did, did me. My fault. You got it? Yeah. Whoa, the light is on. You wanted that? Yeah, man. We got to uh, sh shine on these okay, niggas, okay, man. Okay. My bad, hey, man. Yo, let me show them something. Shine on these niggas. Gotta sure. put the light on there. That's what I was saying. For the young boys out there, we don't we don't want no hundred percent cotton. We, we don't we don't want no hundred percent cotton tops. We want hard tops. You heard what I'm saying? We want hard tops. So that mean that when that top drop, that motherfucking shell cracked. Niggas be shell they be shell shocked when this shit go down. You heard? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Talk yo. that shit. And I bet y'all think, and I bet, I bet they think it's raining. I bet they think it's raining. Nah, that's the drip. Is <laughs> that's the drip. It ain't raining out here. That's the drip. That's the drip. I'm about to get the wet floor signed out. Yeah. Yo, shout about, out, shout out the blue face. Go get, get the get the mop in the bucket. That's what we about to do, bro. Get shout out the blue okay. face, man. But yeah, listen. I, people be asking, 
about the game. And I, I'm over here, live stream after live stream after live stream. Look, get the master course, it's $250. You know, that's when you can do the stuff yourself. Uh, we remove negative items, so if you report, add positive items to the report, uh, boost your, your credit score. But if you want to get access to the six figures, right or wrong, G, when we want access to the six figures, you got to get that credit restoration microwave. If it's, if it's costing you $3,000 to get access to one-tenth of a million, then what the hell is the problem? Yeah. You feel me? And then now, if I was if I was a bum and I couldn't demonstrate, you would say, I don't believe any of that stuff is working. Because look at him. But when I'm eating, you want to distract people from the point that it's working. And what you want to do is say, oh, you showing off. You should show off in front of people. Yo, I'm demonstrating. That's what I'm doing. <clears throat> I'm demonstrating. Switch. That's what I'm doing. <clears throat> there you go. This is my demonstration. You hit, yeah, it's brotherpolite45 at gmail.com. You leave your full name and your phone number. You either get your credit restoration, microwave, $3,000. Your entrepreneur course is $250. Uh, I teach you three different streams of income. And you get the corresponding PDFs. It's about four classes a number. Or you get the master class where I teach you about insurance, real estate, taxing, tax but our main point of focus is credit restoration. And at least we move the negative items off your report, add the positive items to your report, boost your credit score. And you can still get approved for large lines of credit, personal loans, business loans, and credit cards. But at the end of the day, it ain't going to be like that microwave where we getting you them six figures. But you got to start from somewhere. So if you start from scratch or you take it to the next level, it is what it is. You feel me? But I'm just saying, any, when people teach what they teach, they should be able to demonstrate. These are just trinkets and these are toys. I don't think I could drop all that knowledge one day and then go crazy the next. Like, this is what the world is about. But tonight, that's what the world is about. And that's what it was about last night. Hello? <laughs> we just read carpet going crazy yesterday. Right that, wrong. that part. Shout out to the homie Money. Money May. Got love for him. And you see what people do? They turn around. Oh, Floyd buying your cars now. Oh, Floyd giving you. You know, why are people always looking for a catch? I'm teaching. That's where the bread come from. And guess what? Everybody else that's connected with me in the industry fuck with me on the merit that I teach. But it's that my part. people that I'm teaching. The target demographic that I'm doing this for, they the ones always thinking it's about everything else but what I'm saying. Man, these and that's sad. I can keep it a buck. These niggas ain't giving us no money. Nothing. Nigga got to hustle. Got to get out of here. But they want to make a list of demands. You feel what I'm you saying? I mean? Yo, you can't get better than a $250 damn cost to help clear your debt. Do you know cash is king, credit is queen? That part. Come on, man. Cash is king, credit is queen. Don't man. let nobody lie to you. Because cause cash can take you from point A to point B, from point B to point C, from point C to point D. But credit as queen can't go from point A to point D. See? When well, you playing chess... That king be like this, moving one one at a time. Any direction the king wanna go, you go one at a time. That's what that's what cash do for you. But when your credit right, you don't gotta move from point A to point B. You could go from point A to point G. Any direction you choose. That's what credit do. So Stay cash safe. is king, credit is queen. And while y'all over there, uh, man, I wonder if it's gonna work out. And then the next thing you know, you still ain't doing nothing. Two years pass, three years pass, four years pass. You had a stalemate. You looking for an excuse not to turn up. I'm over here, I'm like, look, this is the toys, you can call it the devil's toys all you want. But guess what, at the end of the day, I ain't gonna be on planet Earth with a bad testimony. When I leave and I connect with my ancestors, I ain't gonna be no bitch complaining about everything that took place. <clears throat> when I go, thank you. <coughs> you see, I'm gonna tell you how we <laughs> White Wolves is walking by. Yo, pull your chain out just a little more. You know, like, you know, that's what I'm saying. That's how the, after a while, you can't deny it. It don't matter what race you are. You want to fuck with it after a while. Like, yo, you know what? It's so well put together that a man could come out with a damn $4,000 jacket. $3,000 goddamn dollar shoes. We ain't even going to go into what this exclusivity is about. We ain't even going to do that. We ain't going to do that because at the end of the day, I'm not asking you to spend your money on jewelry, on cars. I'm saying spend your money on what you want to spend it on when you get it. The whole reason, I'm out. like I say, I'm too smart to be broke. Burn your building. Come over here. The whole reason, the whole reason why I wanted to make bread is to ensure that I have the time to do what? I'm to read, here. meditate, pray, study. Because that, because when you look at it, right? Yeah, I'm over here. 
the working schedule, nine to five is eight hours. It takes you about an hour to go to work, an hour to come back, that's 10 hours. They say you should sleep eight hours. Most people sleep about six hours, that's 16 hours. Two thirds of your life you're spending to create somebody else's reality. Nine to five, eight hours, go to work one, come back from work, go to sleep, six hours. Most on average, that's 16 hours. Two thirds of your life to build somebody's life. You only have one third of your life left to do what? Read, study, meditate, pray, cook, clean, socialize with your significant other spouse, your children, and guess what? You don't got time to do that with eight hours left in your cycle, so guess what's gonna happen? You gotta sacrifice something. What are you gonna sacrifice? You're gonna sacrifice reading, meditating, praying, contemplation, intros introspection, and traveling. You're not gonna deal with the real stuff, so you're gonna be calcified in your spirit. So never get it twisted. The whole reason I ain't able to make this bread is so I can indulge in that, in that spiritual experience because we, we we spiritual beings having a physical experience. You heard? That's exactly what's going on right now. Peace, gang. Bro. What's up, brother? Doing brother good, life. Word. We, we, we spiritual beings having a physical experience, See? but I ain't going to be in the physical realm trying to be spiritual because when I get in the spiritual realm, I'm going to be a bitch for trying to be physical. You feel what I'm saying? So we in a physical realm, get your money. We in a physical realm, get your cars, get your that jewelry, part. get your toys, you feel what I'm saying? Because I, I'm telling you, the highest form of spirituality is to achieve monetary success in a world that's fucking hell bent on seeing to it that your people don't achieve. That shit is yeah. spiritual, because the, the drive and the, and, the, and the ambition and the discipline it take to fight the forces and still persevere and transcend the depths of poverty, that's spiritual. Cause I'm gonna tell you, when I was young, I, I was watching Puff and Big Anum, and I saw this guy named Bentley. And I said, yo, what kind of name is that? I never heard of a, a name like Bentley. I was like, what the hell is that? So, yeah, so when I looked at the Biggie video and Puff and them, and I'm like, yo, who's this guy Bentley that be in these videos? They said, yo, Bentley, where does that name come from? They said, Bentley's a car. This is a true story, no cap. So I like, Bentley's a car. So, you know, we didn't really have the Google expertise and shit. I had to ask around. I'm finding out the car like 200 bands, quarter million, 300,000. I'm like, what? For a Bentley? I'm like, I'm gonna get one of those. Everybody doubted me. I'm a young brother. Ain't nobody said, yeah, young man, you can get that. You know, sky's the limit until we start really talking about real things, right? They tell you, you can get anything you want if you put your mind to it, except for a Bentley, right? So yeah. I was like, yo, I'm gonna get that. They was like, you ain't gonna get that. So now when I came up and I started doing my thing, the first luxury car I ever bought was a Bentley. It was a flying spur. It was a few years off, but what I did, I, I wrap suede all around it. That shit automatically keeps it up to date every year. I was just being creative. But what I'm saying is this. When I got it, everybody was like, oh, he got conscious and now he's spending his money. Whatever happened to the, the, the black power information, the activism information? What happened to the spiritual information? And I said, you see, y'all not spiritual. I was spiritual when I got it. And I'm gonna tell you why. Cause I'm not talking about being materialistic. I'm talking about materialization. Again, I'm not talking about being materialistic. I'm talking about materialization. Because when I was young, I saw it in my head and people doubted it because they couldn't see it. So when I got the car in my adult age, it was a spiritual acquisition because I made something manifest that people had to bear witness to in the physical world. It was in my head and everyone doubted it. Now that shit, that bitch is right in front of your fucking face, right? And now you still doubt it. So what that tell you? So for other people, it's, oh, you spending your money? That, but for me, I'm like, yo, I just manifested a thought I had 20 fucking years ago. That's how I felt. To the naked eye, it's just a fucking car. But if you in my experience, that's something I said I would get that people told me I couldn't get. And I said, oh, I got it. I saw it. I, I saw it in my head. I knew I had it. <laughs> I, you know, I knew I had it. And people was just like, nah, you can't get it. I'm like, I can see me in there. So anytime you have a premeditated a goal, and you materialize your conceptions, it's nobody's business to tell you you don't got the right to want what you want. The reality is, if you seen it in your head first and it wasn't here on the physical world, and one day you actually got it, I don't care if it's a certain type of beautiful woman, I don't care if it's a certain amount of cash, I don't care if it's your, you always dreaming about traveling one day, when you start living in the experience that started out in your mind, that's when you know you're on some spiritual shit. And no one can take that from you. So niggas don't even know what spirituality is. You think you're spiritual because you're poor. Oh, I don't touch the nice cars. I don't touch the money. Because you ain't got the money to, you ain't got the situation to touch the money. You ain't got the money to buy all the nice things. So you spiritual by default according to your fucking category. 
I'm saying, you know what real spirituality is? Real spirituality is getting that money and then being tempted. Because when you get that money, are you going to be fucked up to your family? Are you going to leave your people behind that helped you come up? You see what I'm saying? When, when that's spirituality. So I feel like the more money you make, the more it gives you an opportunity to really be spiritual. Because when you can start making bread, are you still going to be loyal to the people that help you come up? See, money helps you figure that shit out. Because I don't know who the fuck you are when we all in poverty. Everybody love me when I'm in fucking poverty. You feel what I'm saying? But now when you get the bread, are you going to cheat on your wife? You know, are you, are you going to neglect your children? Are you going to keep your community poor? You know, we want to know those kind of questions. We can only get those answers if you achieve material success. So people put this whole shit around money like it's a negative thing. But a lot of times money helped me get to see the real in people. I had to realize what type of person you actually are when that bread start coming around. And then I could say, I could discern and say, you know what? I don't want to fuck with you. You know? So just because you poor don't mean you got spirituality in a headlock. We got to get out of there. But like I said, I ain't beat you in the head. You know, I, we about to, we about to uh, bust these moves. You know, it's, it's raining and who gives a fuck? I'm going to still drop the top. You know why? Because... It's just that type of season, man. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> we happy. So all we gonna do is swap whips any fuck with. Feel me? But I want to show. <coughs> Come on, man. Wants to know about the hard top shit. That's some real shit. The hard top shit. That's real shit. It's brotherpolite45 at gmail.com. Leave your full name and your phone number all the time. Get that credit restoration microwave. That's three grand to make six figures up with. Guaranteed. Inside of a, a, a month and a half. Or you, move. you do your master course for 250 or you do your entrepreneur course for 250 Why are we playing games? Hey, you drippy. You drippy. Yo, look. The top isn't 100% cotton. Y'all be driving them 100 Y'all be driving them 100% cotton tops that drop. This is a shell. Get shell shocked by this shit. This that, that shit is metal going in that motherfucker. That's a hard I'm gonna show you another thing. Uh. I'm, oh, hold on. My cameraman is high as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna show you another thing. Real talk. So you 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 see you see a brother hop out of a, a, a damn near four hundred thousand dollar car, right? Ferrari. And and the first thing come to your mind is he must have rented that. You don't even say to yourself, well, you know what? If this nigga renting cars throughout the year, he got more money than the nigga who buy one car. That costs a lot of bread. But I'ma tell you, for black people, yo, I be in a nice crib. Oh, it's an Airbnb. How the fuck you know this shit? Yo, oh, all the cars are in it. But you know, I got a car rental business. And matter of fact, my man on the phone also be renting out fucking luxury cars. My man AP right here. But he he be, he be humble. But every now and then he he get the drop on your ass. You feel me? But but well, watch this. People be seeing AP in and out of mad cars. Oh, he he just renting them. He just renting. Them. But you dumbasses don't even know. He be brokering deals to rent the vehicles out. So when you seeing him move around in them shits. He's making the money off of them shits. But you over here thinking he just trying to joyride and spend his money on the fucking cars, not knowing. And then, and then, and you know what happened? I kept seeing him driving around something nice. He kept seeing me drive around something nice. And we started talking and realized we was cooking the same way. So we put our shit together so that way we could expand the amount of vehicles we had access to. Killing. Wow, wow. Cats is over here. Yo, he written, he written, he written. Hey, we making our bread. They hate, they hate, they hate. <laughs> and we about to dip to Vegas. Fly shit only. Fly shit only. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You already know. But yo, listen, family. I love y'all. <sighs> we about to get it in. We just putting it together a little different. But always leave your full name and your email. Stop wasting your goddamn time. I'm going to just be aggressive like that. Not to be rude or disrespectful to you. Uh, that's never the goal. You know I'm brother polite. But what I'm telling you is, is people always want to see you do the fucking work. I'm, I'm telling you real. You know you know what we do in poverty? We be like this. Yo, see if that shit work. 
I want you to do the reading. I want you to do the research. Yeah. I want you to get the conviction after you do the research to believe that whatever you study is going to work because you are able to substantiate what you believe based on facts. Yeah. And then I want you to invest all your money, even if it takes a longer time, because if all of us pull our funds together, we can put that shit up and nobody get hurt whether it works, win, lose, or draw. But motherfuckers such crabs in the fucking barrel, right? Yeah. They like, no, I want you to stack all your money. I want you to take the time out do all the research. And I want you to have the fucking, the balls to put that shit up. And yo, if it works, then come back and just give me, give me the game for free. So a lot of people mad at me because, yo, I'm going to tell you, I'm not going to school after I done bust my motherfucking ass to study for this test and you get the luxury to, yo, can I copy off you? Bitch, get the fuck out of here. That's, that's been my mentality because I was a smart hood brother and I'm not going to put all that fucking work in just so you can just get to the finish line after doing nothing. And black people still doing that bullshit to this day. They want to see you do all the work and see if it worked. And then when it worked, oh, Put me That's on, it. son. By the time it's working for you, right? By the time it's working for you, you got different problems. You got rich people problems. By the time it's working for you, you got storefronts and everything you got to keep up with. You know what I'm saying? You got, you got different types of taxes and shit that you never considered before. You dealing with QRPs, qualified retirement plans, cash and tax deferable compensation arrangement plans. By the time you level up, that ain't even your conversation no more. And they want to bring you backwards so you can walk them through. But nah, fam, that, that 3000 I put up, could have been 1500 a piece to see if it worked you feel me or it could have been a thousand a piece to see if it worked or it could have been 500 a piece among six people that hang out every fucking day but each one of those six people want to do their own shit and make it more expensive for everybody instead of all of us just saying yo let's do this shit to the point everybody's only paying a hundred dollars just to see if this bitch works let's pull our funds and see if it works for him why i gotta be the one if we all family one of us get the bag and let's see if it worked for him if it worked for him, then we'll multiply it several times over. But we don't got that mentality. I'm talking that real shit. They don't got, they I'm talking that, that real shit. <laughs> they ain't got that mentality. Everybody wants you to do all the work yourself. And then they think at the end of the day, you obligated to tell them all the trade secrets. That's what them shits are, trade secrets. And they ain't want to tell you, you yo, like, they be like, why are you charging for consultations? Because if I talk to everybody for one hour, if I talk to 24 people, for one hour at a time, that's 24 hours. I don't got enough time to eat, sleep, bathe, uh, feed my family, be a father, be a husband. You know, homeschool my children. I ain't got no peace of mind to read, study, meditate, pray, because I'm over here just talking for free every, just, just giving counseling and information and advice. So now I gotta make it cost so I can say I did something with my time and so you could value the information by putting something on it. Because guess what? Motherfuckers wanna bitch with me about $200 an hour, $300 an hour, but they ain't never asked for a refund for the student loan that got them in $80,000 debt. You dig what I'm saying? But they want bitch with me about giving advice. Education should be free. Bitch, tell, tell, tell the government education should be free because you owe $40,000 in the student loan. Now when you come to me and they done fucked your whole shit up, I got to give it to you for free. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, I'm, yo you ain't going to game me. I'm from the same hood y'all from. That part. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> they be trying to cook us with that. Hey, <laughs> he got him. <laughs> Yo. Yeah, you know I'm from Brooklyn. It don't matter. Like you may be from a different hood, but we all know, we all know the same mentality exists. Uh, definitely. Rest in power, pop smoke. But yeah, like I said, you go to brotherpolite45 at gmail.com. You leave your full name, your phone number, and you say what service you're interested in. And don't don't waste time. Don't play yourself. If you know you ain't ready. Don't do that. It's all good. But small price to pay. That shit is that shit's tricky because I be mad that I be putting it down to those rates. But at the same breath, I do understand people's situation. But I can't be co committing myself to so much time because every time I'm working with the people, I'm not with my family. So I, at least I gotta be able to go back to my family and say it's worth it's worth something. But that, I mean, but how much of those is adding up to? A four hundred thousand dollar call, even if even if a nigga renting, right? The the security is like twenty five hundred, and then the habit for the day is like three thousand. And you seeing me moving around like this every day throughout the year, or most days throughout the year. Come on, after a while, chill the f out. Now I'll be doing, but I will say no cap. Sometimes I'll be switching up with my man, cause he might got something in his inventory I don't got. We buy our shit, we rent it out. We don't really fuck with the whole. I, I can't be blowing up our spot like that. But, you know, if we got the Vs, we got the right to charge our friends 
X amount to move around. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If I ain't got it, my man got it, and we, we figure it out and we break bread. That's that's how you gotta do, man. You can't just be over here thinking use the school way because 95% of the people in the world in America make less than $150,000 a year. And then they'll tell you $150,000 a year is the marker for you to have the ability to build wealth or invest without hurting yourself or compromising the integrity of your of the actual amount of money that you make as far as being able to pay your bills and still live comfortably. So if 95% of Americans don't have the amount of money that's necessary to build wealth, then who the fuck is teaching them? You feel what I'm saying? If most people are not wealthy, then what does that say about the school system? If most people are in debt, but that's why I say from pre-K to 12th grade is 14 years of schooling. When you went to school, did you learn anything about real estate? Did you ever learn about credit? Did you le learn about mortgages, mortgage hypothecation? You know who you ask about mortgages? You ask the bank that for the you ask the bank for the education, and they're the ones that put you in debt. You don't ask the fucking people selling you the house for the education. That's how you wind up in debt in the first place. Because their goal is to put you in debt. Their goal is to get the biggest debt that they can get you in. <clears throat> That's why they approve you for loans they know you can't afford eight or ten years down the line or five years down the line. Because they write it off. And then now you you jammed up and now you can't even get a Walmart card. When they when they put your name in the system, they like, yo, damn. You good. Turn it off. Yeah, go on your side. Do what you do. <clears throat> so facts. That, so what does that say? If only 5% of Americans have wealth, then that tells you the school system is teaching 95% of the motherfuckers to fail. That's what that means. And I don't give a fuck. I mean, think about it. All them equations. I, I love math. It's good for the brain. I love it. But there's a lot of classes that you didn't really have to take that in place of it, you could have learned about credit or you could have learned about real estate. And you ain't get one of them classes. So guess what? When you 18 years old and you graduate, or you 17 years old, you graduate, you don't know what the fuck to do as an adult. <coughs> it's crazy. As an adult, you don't even know what to do with yourself. As an adult. Real talk. What are you gonna do with yourself as an adult? Think about it. You go into, you go into debt ASAP. You get a job ASAP. That's the only thing you can do because you don't even know shit about mortgage hypothecations, hypothecations, UCC uniform, commercial codes, UCC ones, UCC threes, uh, uh, addendums. You don't know nothing about any of that. Purchase agreements, security agreements, earnest money deposits. You don't learn nothing about any of that. Selling things on consignment. You don't know none. I mean, on assignment. Selling real estate on assignment You don't know about none of these things So how could you expect someone to succeed or thrive As a responsible adult If you're not even educating them On matters pertaining to adulthood Like being able to purchase a home Under the right pretense You should learn that somewhere in school So when it's time To embark upon the acquisition of real estate Especially for you to domicile You don't make Horrid decisions that set you back for the rest of your life because it ain't nothing like a two three hundred thousand dollar debt that has set you back what are you do yo what are you doing spending what are you doing getting into a debt for a house before you even get a business and that's why it's easier to get approved for hundreds of thousands of dollars to get a house <laughs> this is why it's easy to get approved for hundreds of thousands of dollars to get a house but it's not that easy to get approved for hundreds of thousands of dollars for business they'll, they'll give you a, a home loan quicker than they would give you a business loan think about that and when it, when it, when it, with the business loan wouldn't you prosper more likely than fail with the house loan because the house loan that shit ain't making you money it's a liability and they know how you, how you get approved a $400,000 loan in the form of a mortgage to get a house and then when you stop making your payments, now you got to start paying them back interest. But they never showed you the money you got approved for. They never put it in your hand. You know when you get that student loan money a lot of time, you get access to these funds and you buy sneakers here and there. Whatever. Yo, how come you, how come, how come you don't get to hold the money in your hand that you get approved of when it comes to getting a house? 
But you know when the money become real? Every time you make a payment to pay them back. That's just that that's that scam shit. That's that scheme and stuff. But like that's like paying Western Union extra money for them to send money to Africa as opposed to them to send it to someone in another state. Like someone's carrying the money. They charge you way extra money just because oh no, that's going to Africa. Bruh, you pushing the button. This shit is electric. Stop trying to trick people and stop stop falling for it, family. Understand the game. <laughs> but I'm out here. Shout out to the Brooklyn niggas, man. Hey, I appreciate that. I fuck that. with Brooklyn, man. I Mom appreciate that. Mom be my that. nigga Pop Smoke. I'm gonna get to the Hey. It's a Brooklyn song right here. Yeah, you already. We in Cali. Yeah, I'm in the hood, too. <laughs> That's what's funny. But you know I get love everywhere I go. These cats can confuse you one, but when you going around teaching people and empowering people, when you giving people information that's healing their mothers and healing their aunts and healing their sisters, healing their children, you already know. RP Nip, you know that. When you out here giving information that's helping people heal their friends and their family, when you out here giving people information that's empowering them to get out the community, the community will take care of you. That's why I walk freely everywhere I go. And y'all know I can level up security-wise because y'all see how I give it up when I go and I do my events. But I'm good. I'm good. Trust me. You may not know who you're seeing, but I'm good. I'm good everywhere I go. That's how I give it up. Let's do it. Oh, do your thing. You already said, I got to give him some flicks. Let him get some flicks with my shit. But you let them keep lying to you. I'm giving you the game. I tell you how to get monies from insurance. I say set up a life insurance irrevocable trust and then assign the life insurance irrevocable trust to the insurance policy so you got access to cash value, cash value of that insurance policy, thereby taking advantage of the death benefit. On top of it, I ask you, do you work where you live or do you live where you work? <laughs> because if you turn your house into an office now, your, your lights, your utilities, your gas, all that other stuff, it's going to get... You're going to get a tax subsidy. Because the government will make concessions to people that are potential and have a plan to employ other people. Because so long as people have jobs, they're going to pay taxes. They're going to go into debt. They're going to get credit cards. So if you create your own mini slave plantation by hiring other people, they're going to make your lifestyle cheaper to keep you successful. The, the thing is pay. You got to pay up for the game, man. Hey, this shit ain't free, man. <laughs> hello. Hello. You feel me? Hello. hello. My, hey. Hey. Hello. My man got it, man. And he know what he talking about, man. You know what it is, man. You got to pay for the game. And hey, hey. Hello. 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 <laughs> hello. Hello. <laughs> Yo, you got you to give it up like, uh, like, like yellow. You got to give it up like yellow when he be like, Hello. <laughs> yeah man but uh yo listen i'm just telling you i'll show you how to make monies off of insurance show you how to make monies off the trust show you how to save money with the trust show you how to make monies off of credit show you how to get access to six figures on the strength of credit and you over here still playing games what how many money how many ways i mean even when i say it and you do what you do separate from me you still eat when you follow my my protocols and, and ways, I'm, I'm telling you things that I learned from my own experience. But I give enough information for you to cook with or without me. Facts. You see what I'm saying? So anyway, I, I got to make sure that they don't, I got to keep talking so that way that music don't drown me out. And then the next thing they do, they start muting the important parts of my video. Because first of all, they make it all for my videos even be shit now. Because I be going viral, and that's another thing. If I'm getting millions of views like I do, imagine how much people be reaching out. It gets intense. And I know y'all, y'all, y'all gonna, y'all gonna go hard on me. You see, you gonna see me posting some pictures with me and some white women, but I don't have relationships with them. I told you, I'm personally invested in black women because they make babies with good hair. That's my hashtag. Black black women make babies with good hair. That's my hashtag. <laughs> All you gotta do is just, just, you know, words are GPS to reality. Words are GPS to reality. So, 
<laughs> I guess my my man is rough around the edges. Talking about he FaceTiming one of his his bees. Still got work to do. But like I said, the respect is there once you're helping people eat. The respect is there once you're helping people with their health. Yo, Cam, I'm about to wrap up. You know, we got we to gotta head to Vegas. <laughs> Ferrari, huh? That's how P doing it. Man, I don't care about yo. Listen, let me let me say let me explain something to you guys. Ask me if I care about any of that negativity. You see, this is why I always tell people: you can say what you want to say about me. You can make up whatever stories you want to make up about me. You can say, "Oh, he's really poor. He ain't really got no bread." Ain't nobody can fake this type of path for so long. That's why I love money. You know why? Because you can fake astrology, you can fake numerology to an extent, especially amongst the layman. But you can't fake success. Somebody gonna know if you're living in the hood or not. You can't fake success. That's a fact. You can't fake success. It, who out there teaching you about Lexus Nexus? Who's out here teaching you about check systems? 609 letters. Who's out here doing that? I'm giving you 33 PDFs with that are letters and templates to affidavits that'll be sent to credit bureaus and financial institutions alike for the purposes of changing your life. Putting it back in, putting life back into your own hands. Come on, man. That credit restoration microwave. Polite. What's up, gang? I'm doing good. That's what we doing. <laughs> well respected everywhere I go. <clears throat> we ain't never gonna play games like that. That's how we do things. Real talk. Real talk. <clears throat> we ain't never gonna play games like that. We gonna, we gonna win. So you know, I and like I tell you, when people spend that much time investing in negative ideas and conversation about other people. It's a testament to me that they're poor. <laughs> That's what it is. And they got too much idle time and they don't got nobody that seriously loves them or cares about them. Because anybody that loves you and cares about you is going to be like, listen, we, we got a plan as a family to build. Or we got a plan as a team to build. We can ill afford for you to be walking around here, wasting your time, having frivolous conversations, going into gossip and rumors about people because it doesn't pay your bills. And while you're doing that, the same person you talking about keeps leveling up. Wait till y'all see what I be posting, man. I know my, my passport tattooed up. Shit, they be thinking my passport a gang member. <laughs> I don't be playing no games. Real talk. But yeah, man, I'm just... I'm out here. I didn't even get home yet. I head to the crib. It's making my runs. I ain't been in LA in quite some time. You you could only you you can only fake money for so long. That's all I'm saying. You could only fake money for so long. <clears throat> See, I don't mind, man. I show love to the people. I show love. You gotta hop in that joint. You know why? <clears throat> because when you let a person get a chance to sit in a three hundred thousand dollar, three hundred thousand dollar plus car, that shit drives you. Sometimes that's all you need to do. If you let a person come into your little mini mansion you got, and they 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 feel the vibe, and y'all seeing how the crib look from one year to the next. But you know, you keep saying Airbnb you want, but when I have certain homies and them come through. It motivates them. And even when you don't come through, just seeing it, if you ain't blocked by hatred, you be like, no, I got to taste that. Because the second someone allow me in their nice house and in their nice car, when I leave them, I hit the books. Because I'm motivated. And I know the key to anyone's success is education. I don't care what no And surrounding yourself around people with
in or presently in the space that you would like to be in. And you can appreciate the fact that they have achieved a certain level of mastery to their art, coupled with what some people would call luck, or what I call magnetism. Because if you keep your mind on something for an extended period of time, it, you, you're bound to magnetize yourself to persons, places, and things that correspond with the same. <clears throat> Real talk. Oh yeah, but you know, I, I exist in my spirituality, man. I exist in my spiritual form. You know, I, I got a different concept of spirituality. I know how positive I am. I know the information that I radiate. And I know I empower way more people than anyone can say I'm doing bad by anybody. I empower so much positions. Man, people cry before me because they life change. So nah, you know what I'm saying? I'm too turned up. I like that. Look at that. You know I gotta turn my nigga up, man. Ain't no hate, man. Ain't no hate. But yeah, I can, you know, I do what I do. I get my love. I love the love. I love the love. <laughs> I love the love, man. But yeah, I'm about to get ready. I got to actually get changed for tonight. I'm going to keep the blazer for another night. But I'm going to change the interior. <laughs> Put in some serious pain again. We out of here. Peace and blessings. I love you. I love you a whole lot. I'm not afraid or ashamed to say it. Don't allow these people to keep pushing you back. Don't allow these people to have, don't have people over there cheating off your test paper because you studying, because you applied yourself. When they, oh, I'm going to see if it works. When they do one of those, I advise you, don't do nothing for them after it works. I advise you, do nothing for the people who sat there and watch you bust your ass and make sacrifices. Go through the knowledge, do the studying, reconcile within yourself. Is is this something I want to do? I might lose my money. Maybe maybe it will work out. When you go through all those emotions and then somebody cheats their way through and says, I'm gonna just sit here and let you do it, and then I'm gonna come up and figure it out. That's how that's how you playing yourself. That's how you playing yourself. You feel me? You playing yourself because you allowing somebody to do that too. Cause they actually they calling you a sucker. They they actually calling you a sucker. But yeah, I'm I'm just a Brooklyn cat. Man. We don't play no games. We don't play no games. Vegas next stop. What up, A, you good? I'm I'm about done. Yeah, I gotta charge my shit too, G. My shit. Is. You know how my, you know the status of my phone. <laughs> My shit always dies. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it ain't raining. But yeah, pull it up because I don't want to deal with that breeze. You know how I do it? What up, G? Oh, thank you, brother. I appreciate so much, hey, man. man. I'm hey. actually allowed to talk. Hey, to you gotta stop hating on my dog, man. Hey, I love that, man. I appreciate stop you, my, my brother. Dog. Let my dog grow and teach us some good shit out here, man. Hey, man. Appreciate it. What's man, your name, King? Bucks, man. Bucks? From Miami, bro. Oh, I just came from Miami. Man, Yesterday. Hey, I'm Haitian and shit, too, bro. Hey. Hey, my boy. Hey. No <laughs> life, no life. You feel me? You already man, know. The Zos is a powerful group of people in hey, Miami, man. man. Is, I love man. the unity. Don't let them... Tell you all the negative shit. They got some real spirituality going on in that real, community. Real and you gotta remember, that's the first black community to really rebel successfully as far as contemporary times is concerned. Real. And that's why America personally invested in terrorizing them so they can make an example out of them so no no other group of people would lead an insurrection. Yeah. So they, they they went as far as like let's say rice is their major crop, they fuck around and, and make their rice cheaper just to fuck them over, cause that's their major crop. And then raise their price after they've been devastated. Like they do all sorts of fuck shit to hinder, hinder the, uh, the black race. Real talk. Real talk, man. They do a lot of shit. So they, this is this is how it be, man. But yeah, salute. What's up, gang? How you doing, my brother? Okay, PC, dog. PC. Hey, man. Thanks a lot, man. <laughs> That's how it is. <laughs> like I said, you know it's real. 
I'm, I'm international, man. Anywhere I go, I, I'm telling you, people keep up and keep in tune with it. Yeah. How to do this shit. You figured it out. Yeah, yeah. Yo, they make their car so damn different, it's crazy. Yeah, you just gotta keep holding it. Shell shocker. There we go, hard top shit. No more, no more 100% cotton tops. <laughs> Hey, thank you, man. It's, that's what it is. Yo, I'm telling you, if I wasn't walking around in good faith and good spirit, I wouldn't be so accessible. And it's not that I'm always making myself accessible. I'm just saying, like, yo, I, I just deal with how I feel, man. I feel good. I feel great. I got every reason to be right in, in my walk, in my talk, because I know the type of contribution that I put in. I know how much value I've added to people's lives on planet Earth. And that in itself is my protection. Because I read the comments and I appreciate y'all concern. And y'all right. But you know, you one minute they say you got to be in the hood to connect with your people. And the next minute they'd be like, yo, stay the hell out the hood. Then they'd be like, yo, you don't be in the hood enough. So it's all convoluted. You just got to do a little 50-50. Not even 50-50. You probably got to do 20-80. Yo, what's good? We ready to bounce? Yeah, I'm about to go. Hey, hey peace. <clears throat> all right. You want me to wait down here or you, you come? So we about to go over there? Go over there just to pick up. Oh, okay, so you could, you want to just use the car? Uh, no. I, I was about to take a shower. Cause you that would make sense to cut time. So yeah. I'll, I'll go by Los. Yeah. Because you know you're going to... I go by Los, I'll get my shit, and I'll drive back over here. Yeah. Then we're going to swap the cars. Yeah. All right, cool. All right, peace. Yo, you got to pick up, though. Huh? Pick up your phone. I definitely am. I'm <laughs> you got to pick up. <laughs> because... All right, all right, peace. Peace to the family. Yo, I even forgot where the fuck. Yo, oh, okay, I got it. Peace to the family, though. Peace to y'all. Hey, man. Yeah, hurry up so that way we ain't running behind because we want to catch, catch the main event. Yeah, I'm going to get in that. We want to catch that main event for the Wilder fight. Yo, you know what? Shit. Yo, hey, I got to get the uh, my charger because this shit about to die. I left it upstairs. You heard? Too turned up. All right, family, I'm going to talk to you. I love y'all. Love you guys. Peace.